Yeah, Say check one, two, three. One, two, three, check. One, two, three, check. Can Candy. Um, I actually live in Florence, Kentucky. Yes. Candy, C A N D Y. I love their draft selections. Um, they have a good craft beer selection. It's not all just domestics. Um, you can get anything from Ryan Guy's Truth that's just right around the corner to something that you can't get until the south side. So it's very interesting. Um, I actually enjoy their waffles with no syrup at all. Um, they're just a different waffle that you cannot make at home. They're extremely tasty. And then the bartender, Jonathan, is amazing. You can come here in the morning when everything else is closed and sit down, and he just engages in wonderful conversations with you to make you feel like you're right at home. Um, OTR is an amazing place to come. Everybody should definitely enjoy the small, unique restaurants here. Um, it's definitely something different that you can't find inside of a, you know, a big hometown where it's just a bunch of chain restaurants. So definitely take your time and come here and visit. And there's plenty of free parking. Um, there's parking garages to make you feel safe if you're a little bit nervous and coming here. Um, it's just, it's an interesting place to come and I would suggest everybody to join. Come down to the Taste of Belgium. Hi, my name is Srijitha. And what is your name? My name is Rakaya. And when, when your friend talks, move it over her like okay. that. And then back to you. Okay. So that's fine. Right, I think it's sound a little bit down, James. Yeah. All right? All right, I can sound like everything, James. Okay. So, look in here. Right into the camera, right? Okay, don't worry about me. Okay. And we just take out the questions and we'll edit accordingly, so don't worry about anything that's, you know, we'll, we'll, we can chop it up. Okay. I don't have to talk first. No, 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 you okay. don't have to. Okay. But why don't you hold it in toward yourself and we'll get, there you go. Okay. And what is your name again, please? My name is Srijita Chattopadha. And are you from the city? Uh, no, I've actually traveled from Bowling Green, Kentucky with my friend and we just came here for a couple days. So I think the most appealing thing about uh, Taste of Belgium was the waffle. We were looking at uh, we were looking at Google and places that we can eat, and the waffle looked really yummy. So we just came here for breakfast, brunch, I guess. What kind of, what kind of breakfast Belgium did you have? Um, so today I had there. I was confused. Let me rephrase that. 
I, when I walked into the restaurant, I was very confused about whether I should get the Belgium chocolate and cream or whether I should get the uh, Nutella and banana. And my uh, waiter, he said that apparently the, the banana and the Nutella taste so much better and that it's a delicacy back in Belgium. So I thought I'll get that. And it was too heavy for me. <laughs> It was heavy for me. It was heavy, so I have a little piece left over. What do you like about this restaurant? Ooh, the vibe. I think this restaurant has a really, really nice vibe about with like the graffiti. Is it kind of? It's got this really cool vibe. I don't feel like I traveled three hours from Kentucky to be here. It just feels like we've traveled, like. To New York. <laughs> Ooh, you should. Uh, like, let me restart that answer. I've just been in Ohio and Cincinnati for 24 hours, literally 24 hours. And I think it is really pretty. It reminds me. Like, it reminds me of different places in America itself, and which is really cool. So you don't have to travel far, far-fetched places to, you know, feel like, yikes, I'm, I'm screwing up that answer. I think he's talking about We just chopped it up. Okay. Okay. Can you repeat that question for me? What do you want to say to people who are considering coming down here to over the line and then to taste the Belgium? I think that people should come to over the Rhine and taste of Belgian because it's a really nice space to be here and just have fun and spend some time with friends and family, I guess. And, and try their banana Nutella Belgium waffle. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Bryce Hoff, I'm from here in Kentucky. Down a little bit, there you go, all right. Yeah, B-R-Y-C-E. Uh, the Taste of Belgium, I love the environment it's in, I love the locations on the banks and OTR, and the food is really great, and I, it's a good place to go with all my friends. Uh, no, it's actually my fifth or fourth time to Taste of Belgium, actually. So. Uh, the dish I recommend, honestly, is the chicken and waffles. And you could get a waffle alone, and it's absolutely amazing. It's the thing I get every time I'm here. It's so good. Uh, I would highly recommend coming to this restaurant in any location in the banks and OTR. Every location's in a good place. It's a good environment, and it's uh, great service, great food. Oh, I, I normally get the chicken and waffles, actually. Oh, it's it's amazing. The chicken's amazing. The salad that comes with it's amazing. And then the waffle is the best part, honestly. Uh, what brought us here today, we were just walking around OTR, and then we all decided to, we were hungry, and we all came and uh, tasted Belgium, the best re restaurant around, honestly. So, uh, yeah. No problem. Oh, it's the same where they, they go around the town and they just... Yeah, like you walk up to this park and they had like a star and some of that. I thought it was really ironic. Like, you all that buff guy is wearing something. You won't notice Chris Evans wearing a hat.
I've never seen it. You know what else is around? 